46 years. Wow, that's almost as old as I am. Iris, you shared your passion with us today, a lifelong passion. That is <laughs> quite a remarkable thing. I haven't loved anything for more than 20 years, and I think that's my wife. <laughs> but to be so committed and so dedicated to something that you showed in your story, it's just so inspiring to all of us because we all need to find that thing that will drive us, that will motivate us to wake up in the morning. For you, it was learning English. From a speech perspective, it was a good speech. It was well organized, you had a good story, you had a good message for everybody. Especially if you want to learn English. Go read more books. Go read more books. Go read more books. Hey, why aren't you reading a book? If you want to learn English, read more books. And you kind of transition that into a general life lesson for everybody. No matter what your passion is, get started, get going, start doing it. And that is something that can inspire us all to action, to, to just do those things that we need to do to start embracing our passions and our loves. But how can we make this speech a little bit better? You told a great story, it was well organized, but I want you in the next part, the next time you do the speech, I want you to do one thing. Create suspense. You started your speech 46 years ago, I fell in love with English. Or well, something along those lines. You gave it up too quickly. You should start with creating suspense. Say, 46 years, I fell in love with something. 46 years, there was this thing that came into my life. And I never knew that I would hold on to it forever. 46 years ago, I fell in love with, not my husband, <laughs> English. <laughs> You're creating the suspense. There are other areas where you can create the suspense. For example, you gave us three tips on how we can learn English. And you said, well, the second thing I would suggest you do is to listen to TED Talks. Now remember, earlier on in your speech, you had said, well, when I joined TGIF, I couldn't understand Lester and Paul. You said that. Broke our hearts, not Douglas, but us. But, then you, but you could have said, you could have built on that, create suspense. And I watched TED Talks. Why? Because it's easier to understand than Lester and Paul. You could come back to that, right? And there's another area where you could create suspense. When you're talking about traveling to the United States and you're talking about, you know, you join this book club and you never want to miss it. So you could say, well, when I go to the States, the alarm clock rings, 6 a.m. My husband is sleeping, my son is sleeping, and I'm waking up. Not to make coffee, not to have breakfast. No, no, no. I'm logging on to Skype to join my book club. I want you to work on creating suspense because when you create suspense, you will draw your audience into your speech. You will hold them longer and they will want to kind of have those moments. What's next? Create suspense.